Hey there, me again. So yesterday I posted the video on the ultra simple exams time of schools and uh, I got an email from Joanne Jarvis shortly afterwards saying I saw your post about the timers. Do you know of a good timer that I could use in presentations? I do a lot of presentations. I'd like to be able to have one on a slide so that when I ask people to spend 15 minutes discussing something at their table, it can be on the slide. So they can be a countdown timer or something that uh, she can use as uh, something to let people know how long they've got for that breakout session. Uh, this would be in a face-to-face -face session or across a Zoom. Fair enough. Um, it's something that you think would be fairly easy to do in PowerPoint, but unfortunately in the Department of Education, we've actually blocked add-ins for Microsoft Office. And that's because uh, there are some security concerns about some of the add-ins. We can't really trust every single one of them. So they've just made a blanket decision to, to block those. Um, and I'll just demonstrate that very quickly for you. Let's say I wanted to create a presentation. I'll just pick a, a new presentation here. Uh, it's going to build it, create that, that's fine. So I've bu I'm building my slides and I'm getting to the point where, um, let's say I need a new slide here and I'll just make it a blank one like that. Um, we might just delete this little box. But if I wanted to add a timer and I didn't have uh, any restrictions, what I'd do is I'd come up here to insert and I'd go to get add-ins and I'd choose the option or I'd search for a timer and you can do that. But as you can see in, in our environment, Office Store is not available. So that's not really something that we, can, that we can do, but we can create our own timer manually and it's not that hard to do and they, they work quite well and I'll show you how to do it. So let's, uh, let's just come in here and we'll say breakout discussion session and that's our little title for our section uh, you can center it if you want to you can do all sorts of different things to make it look the way we want it to be um, but let's say uh, we'll go into insert and we'll add a text box and we'll say preliminary preliminary discussion and then we might have um, Another one will just copy that, control C, control V, and paste it in here. And then another one, and we'll paste it in here. So they're all lined up. Let's make a bit of room for them. So she wanted 15 minutes, and the reason why I'm doing this is to say, okay, well, let's break that 15 minutes up because if it was just 15 minutes all up, then people won't really use their time very well. So we might say that the first five minutes is a preliminary discussion. The next five minutes might be a summation. And the next five minutes might be a wrap up and um, deciding who's going to present wrap up and I'll just let's just call it wrap up okay and what we now want to do is create these timers so here's how I recommend you do it uh, let's just highlight all of these and we'll just move them back a little bit like that uh, if we go to insert we can insert a shape and let's just grab a rectangle and what we're going to do is draw a rectangle from here all the way to the end and what we might do is fill that in in white and inside this little box what we're going to do is put a little timer bar that will go across the screen so let's to do that we go insert and we're going to do another shape and we're going to do another rectangle we'll make it a little bit smaller and it'll be something like this uh, maybe make it a little wider pick whatever color we want so blue goes nicely with everything else um, but the difference is what we're going to do with this blue bar that we see here is we're going to make it slowly creep in from the right so we're going to add an animation to slowly creep in all the way from the right and to take a particular duration which is five minutes to um, to get fully onto the screen so how does that work if you come up to the animations tab then what you can do is go add an animation and you can choose one of these or you can just choose them from here on the right there's a, an option that says fly in which is probably the one that we want so I'll just turn this one off we'll choose fly in here now you see what it did it flew in from the bottom we don't want it to fly in from the bottom what we want to do is fly in from the left and what that's done you see how fast that shot across there um, we want to slow that down so how do we slow it down if you go into um, 
this option here which says duration you can see it's got 0.5 which is half a second well we don't want 0.5 what we want is 600 seconds and if we tell it to do that and go uh, where are we let's just go to it's on click let's turn this animation pane on and we'll go play all you can see that that's now taking what should be 600 seconds did I say 600 or maybe I typed 60 let's uh, stop that and let's go back into this effect options and on the timing tab ah yes 59 seconds is what I've got here so let's make that 300 seconds and OK so now you can see it's going through a lot slower and it's going to take five minutes for that to get all the way to the end that's great um, I can stop that and then what I want to do is if I grab this one if I click on that that white rectangle and then click on the next one it selects both of them and if I go control C to copy and then control V I've now made a duplicate of that so this is my second timer and if I do that again control V this is my third timer so now what I've got to do is say all right these are my three rectangles that I have uh, animated on the first one here which is that one there we've got that currently starting on click okay the next one so so when this slide first comes up you're going to click to click that timer going so you'll give them a bit of an introduction and and it will start that off then the next one what we want to do is um, pull this down and we're not starting on click we're starting after previous and you can see that's shifted over to the right and the next one we're going to do exactly the same thing start after previous and that's gone like that so then what it's going to do if we play them all it will start that one when that one gets all the way to the end it'll go to the next one and then it'll go to the next one now it's a bit hard to see when we're doing five minutes here so what I'll do is I'll stop that and I'll just come back in here to effect options and go to timing and change it from yeah, it says five minutes there let's just change it to 20 seconds okay and then we'll change this one effect options timing 20 seconds and so on so now if we start from the beginning you'll see that one will take 20 seconds people are discussing they're coming up with uh, all of their ideas they're brainstorming they're getting all the information then the next section they're going to see this bar get all the way to the end and we're now into the summation section and that's another 20 seconds or five minutes and finally the wrap up now the thing that you do need to know is that these timings are limited you, the maximum you can take for this animation to appear is 10 minutes or 600 seconds you can't do any more than 600 seconds um, and this one here I didn't change it so it's taking five minutes so that's um that's what you get with this particular type of timer I think it looks pretty cool uh, and it gives people an idea of what it is that they're supposed to be doing during the breakout session and then of course once you've created that slide in any presentation you can simply copy that slide and put it into any other presentation that you do so you don't have to redo this next time hope that was of use and I will see you in the next video